All right, so we're going to talk about how to correctly approximate our our DPS here. So we're going to carry and golem build. Let's kind of go through it like three skills, items, calculations to make sure that our DPS that shows up on the left side of the screen here is actually correct. So first things first, uh, we're looking at the combo attack. For every skill that you play, you kind of need to know like what is the like the default thing that people look at when they're comparing DPS. So if you're carrying Golem, I'm pretty sure it's combo attack. So we'll look at that. And we're going to have our Cyrus uh, selected here. I think it's by default set to 8, but we'll make sure that's typed in as well. And let's see what is happening. So I'm going to go through the tree, um, including the cluster jewels, and look for anything that is a uh, like a situational piece of uh, configuration. So I'm going like, to toggle between a tree and the configuration tab to see what's going on here. So we have auras from the skills to do that. This is configured by default. It's good to go. I think the reason that we have this, I think we're like a pseudo aura stacker kind of thing. So we'll keep an eye out for that. This doesn't give damage. Plus two, sure. Plus one golem. How many golems do we have? We have one golem by default, two golem because of this. And then anima stone is three golems and then four golems. I think I think we're looking at four golems. Is that right? Am I missing something? Let me know in chat if that's correct. One, two, three, four. I think we have four carrying golems. Do, 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 do. Four golems, four specters, nine zombies. Okay, gotcha. So let's look at our cluster jewel. Uh, minions have life. Minions do things. Chance to impale. Let's take a look at our calculation tab for where's our carrying golem at? Summon carrying golem, combo attack, effective DPS. Their impale chance does not show up. Is that correct? I don't see their impale chance. I don't know how much that matters, but I would like to see it. It's at least 20% chance. Maybe we'll just like make a mental note of that. For mediums, we have non-curse, non-curse, non-curse auras, gotcha. This is all standard stuff, this is all standard stuff. Mana reservation, mana reservation. How much ES do we have? 7k? Sure. With 40% chance to impale, we probably have a dread banner as well, with generosity, if I had to guess. Nothing here. 91, 95. I'm not sure what the discrepancy is at the, uh, the top here, like the required level and the actual level. There might be like some of these small ore effect nodes that I'm missing. You'll have to let me know in chat. Non-curse, non-curse, that's fine. And this is our anima stones. We don't have a watcher's eye or anything, do we? Yeah, we do. No reason for that. So, uh, do our minions use charges? We'll get there. I assume that as we look at our summon specter setup. See, where's raised specter? Ray Specter Blood Magic basically tells me that we have Power Charge, Frenzy Charge. Um, so we'll go like this and this. And the reason that I'll check those is uh, I assume that when we have Blood Magic that we're using like the Power Charge, Frenzy Charge Monkeys, right? So Power Charge, Frenzy Charge Monkeys. Sounds good. Vitality. I guess we're not using Vitality, huh? Are we not using Precision? Look at all these things we don't have turned on. Hmm, I'm suspicious. I guess we'll find out. We do have Dread Banner. So we have how much? 20% chance to impale? Use up to aura, and then like... Is that... Does the chance to impale, does that scale with aura effectiveness? I'm not sure about that. We have at least a 60% chance to impale, right? Gotcha. Okay, so no vitality, no precision. Sure. Convocation. Anime Guardian. What are the other two... Um. Looks like we are using haste. Okay. What are the other two um, specters that we have? What are we using there? Carrying golem and pale, 45, so 40, 60. I think we have 100% chance to impale. Sounds right. Brutality, melee phys, uh, wake and multi strike, minion damage, sure. Disciplines turned on. Of fire, skeleton stuff. Two host, one carnage, and an arena master. So the arena master gives you um like minions have onslaught or something, right? So I don't think I can calculate 
that. I don't think that's in here. But it, it's kind of like an onslaught. I don't think it's actually the word onslaught. But it's like a attack speed buff, right? Okay. So I think the tree were configured appropriately for that. Uh, for our skill gems, I think we're uh, appropriately configured there as well. We have the right uh, mana and life reservation turned on. We have our anoint turned on here. I don't see any curses though. Are we cursing anything? Aspen of the Spider, Shattering Steel. Whoa. Am I missing that? Are we just like not cursing with anything? Gloves, curse on hit? No. All the small jewels should be cal or should be clicked on. Like this. So 92, 95. Alright, looks like there's still some kind of discrepancy here. There's at least three extra points that we haven't clicked on, but it's not the biggest deal. Let's take a look at our um our items just to make sure that everything's configured correctly here as well. Do 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 do. I'm looking for any kind of conditional buffs, right? I don't know how much dying sun is realistically uh, realistically helping us. Our enemies on consecrated ground. I suppose so. That's fine. Taste of hate. Quicksilver. Witch fire brew. Witch fire brew. Witch fire brew. We gain damage by turning this off. Maybe we should turn it off. I don't really understand the flasks here. These are a lot of flasks that are all unique. I feel like there might be something else we want instead. Things like Taste of Hate make sense. Bottle of Faith applies a debuff to enemies, so that makes sense. Dying Sun and Witchfire Brew are kind of confusing to me. I don't understand why these are here and why they're not like defensive flasks instead. But we'll keep going. What else do we have? Uh, Viv Insect, Sacred Gems, Mana Reservation, that's fine. We have our Headhunter. When you kill an enemy while you have Rage is irrelevant to us. And then we already looked at our Jewels. So I think I think our DPS is getting pretty close. Um, regarding Minion Buffs, we have Power and Frenzy. Summon a Golem, no, that's not something that we're doing. If you've been hit, does not matter. Let's see. And then we're not using... Um, Number of nearby non golem minions. You said we had one, two, three, four, and then nine. We had four specters and like nine zombies, so it should be at least ten here. Is feeding frenzy active. Where's our feeding frenzy? Is feeding frenzy linked to a golem or to something that like actually hits enemies? Anime guarding, uh, Feeding Frenzy Raid Zombie. What is our anime guardian? Open set two. What is the anime guardian? Bloop. All right, I'm going to wait for the person in chat to respond to that. And let's keep clicking on stuff. Pride, initial effect, maximum effect. Remember, pride gets about twice as strong as you stand next to things over four seconds. That modifies doesn't matter to us. And we maimed. No, that doesn't matter. Might matter, but I don't see anything here. I don't see anything that applies uh, Intimidate. So I'm not going to worry about Intimidate. And then the rest of this, this is just like our damage with um, Bottle Faith up. For what it's worth, Bottle Faith's probably not worthwhile. I don't really like it. I'd rather just like stay alive or have tankiness. But it looks like we have tons and tons of damage. Probably around 10 million, 12 million, something like that. Do, 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 do. Let's see, what are we missing? The gear. Yeah, yeah, so you have an Animate Guardian here, and your Animate Guardian gear might matter. Um, I don't know if your Animate Guardian gear is your weapon swap, or what other sets of gear you have in here. I don't see any item sets set up, so I don't know what to turn on or off from your Animate Guardian. Methodical, what's going on? Welcome back. So in general, um, your minions probably have Fortify. Maybe they have like a couple other increases to their damage. Maybe they have something else provided by your enemy guardian, but 
I'm just going to assume until you tell me otherwise that your anime guardian is only there to provide Kingmaker, the unique weapon. So the TLDR of this is our character with some discrepancy on um, on the skill tree because we're missing a couple nodes here from POB that didn't import correctly. And we're missing also what is our anime weapon, or sorry, anime guardian. It looks like our uh, carrying golem DPS is 3.7 and then we have four of them, right? So we're looking at like maybe 15 mil DPS. That sounds like the right place to be. Yeah, it has a kingmaker for sure. Fine. Um, I think I think we've got just about everything. There shouldn't be too much else that we're missing. We are using a arena master specter, so our damage is going to be higher than um, 15 mil because we're like we'll have an uh, an extra buff to our minions that isn't accounted for. And then, like, I think, if I remember correctly, Headhunter also applies to minions, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure they also get debuffs from that. So, like, while we're clearing maps, we probably have, like, a little bit more DPS than is actually shown here. But I would say, like, in a single target encounter, um, about 15 mil. And then, like, if our flasks are down, our flasks really don't contribute much damage at all. It's still about 15 mil. Um, that said, uh, with our Bottle Faith turned on, we go from 3.7 mil... Sounds good to ground to 4.1. And like, I guess it gives us about a million damage by turning on our Bottle Faith. Realistically, I would rather use that just to be tankier. Um, with all of our, I, I still don't know what this Witchfire Brewer is doing, but in any case, with all of our uh, flasks up, we have about 14,000 effective hit pool, which considering the investment into this character, and the fact that we're like low life and everything is ridiculously low. This is a very, very low effective hit pool. Um, oh, is that for our golem? I think that's for our golem. Let's uh, let's select something else instead. No, that's for us. Is that actually for us? Yikes, that is super low. So what would my recommendations be for you? Uh, I don't think the bottle of faith is worth it at all. I don't think the Dying Sun does anything for you. And the Witch Fire actually lowers your DPS somehow. So I think you get a lot more mileage out of your flasks as a uh, as an ES-based character by just having um, blue flasks. Magic utility flasks, maybe a Basalt, maybe a Granite flask, maybe a uh, Quartz flask to be like immune curses and whatnot. You can get a ton of mileage out of your flasks if you just like use the right ones. Instead of having 14k effective HP, you can more than double that just by having different flasks instead. So maybe that's a consideration for you. But all things considered, um, looks like your DPS is about 15 mil. Maybe with some more once you get Headhunter turned on. Um, yeah. What do you think? What do you think about that? Sounds good? All right. We'll make a clip of that. It's always fun talking about POB stuff when it pops up. But let me post this back to you in a chat right here.